Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, how tight can you string a tennis racket before you break it? Stay tuned. Coffee sponsor of today is someone and someone writes happy birthday chris menza in big bold letters with exclamation points so somebody really wants to wish you a happy birthday chris so be thankful okay i know i'm thankful for this coffee so on your special day this coffee is for me Nah, just kidding have a great one man uh i know you watch me this person that's the special someone says you guys watch me all the time so enjoy your special day okay here's to you all right chris if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day or if you need a shout out is the way link is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin you want to just hook me up just cuz super thanks is the way and that link is also below all right thank you guys so much we got major major something today major coffee today i call it all right birthday shouts are always special especially when it's on your special day from me <laughs> all right guys so we're going to be talking about string tension a little today. Um, how tight can you really string a racket before uh, it snaps? Well, this actually came from a viewer. Um, Lori Destro writes, Hi there. Big fan of your YouTube channel. I learned about tennis there. I play with a Head Speed Pro Black Edition. I string with multi um, head velocity at 57 pounds, which is the maximum tension recommended by the manufacturer for this specific model. I love the feel and touch, but I would like to string a little higher with multi, like 59 or 60 pounds. Would it break the frame? Best regards from Brazil. All right, Lori. Um, and it's L-U-R-I, by the way. Destro. So every racket on this wall, including your speed, has a like tension range on it. Um, let's go take a look at... Uh, I'm just going to grab a random speed, since that's what we're talking about right now. This is an MP and so if you look right here and it's really hard to see because they don't really want you to read um, the tension recommendation is usually like 48 to 58 it's probably right here it's right there okay you see that so that's the range right so that's actually just a guidance the the low end of that is the lowest they recommend for the highest performance of the racket and the on the higher end at the max tension they recommend is the highest so that's why when you walk into a pro shop the people say do you want more control or do you want more power well lower end of that spectrum you get a little more power higher end of that spectrum you get a little more control but can you go above can you go below um, i've strung rackets as low as 25 pounds right lady really had a bad hand um, she just wants to keep playing we strung it with natural gut 25 pounds just to alleviate the stress of every time that the ball hits the strings um, now on the high side though I had this one guy, he's since moved from what I hear, 
and um, he would bring me these rackets he would buy from the thrift store, literally Prince Graphites, Prince Pros, that he would buy for, you know, 10 or $15, like the oversized ones, uh, 110s from 35 years ago. And he would literally bring them into me and bring me like nylon, like the 15L $2 Prince nylon and say, can you string these? And I'm like, sure. And he goes, I want them at 90 pounds though. And I was like, 90 pounds. He's like, yes. And I'm like, I don't think you should do that. I was like, that racket may not survive. And he's like, but that's what I want. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. The racket might like collapse. He's like, but I, I mean, it just, it was a back and forth for probably 20 or 30 minutes. And I'm, I finally talked him down to about 80. <laughs> like he wouldn't let go of that 90. He thinks he hits like the Hulk and he needs the most control he could get especially off of that 110. I mean, I get it off the 110. I mean, I've strung rackets at 70 or 75 back in the day, but 90 was a little ridiculous. It's just somebody thinking that they're all big and bad and thinking that, oh yeah, let's string it at 100 pounds. Yeah, no, that's crazy. <laughs> so I finally talked him down to 80 and that was a lot of talking. And I told him at the end, look here, dude, if the racket breaks, the string breaks during the process, and I give you a broken racket back and broken strings, you're still paying me for it because I'm the one that told you not to do this, okay? But he still insisted. Weirdly enough, though, I was super careful. I made sure everything is is and was tight on the machine i'm going to show you what i had to do though to get it done and to how to make it work on my own racket okay to the falcon all right so i'm at the falcon i've actually never gone past probably 60 on the machine let's see how far it goes oh we're at 80. Uh oh 82 is it 82 is it. I guess I'm stringing my racket at 82. <laughs> at least I'm going to get it started. I, I'm just going to show you what to do. If you or a customer of yours or somebody insists on stringing super tight, at least I will give you some guidance as to um, how to do it. Okay. It's a... Uh, <laughs> it would have been interesting though if i would have been able to take that racket out at uh at 90 or 80 pounds to see what that thing felt like if you want to feel a board that's probably what it would be all right so i'm really i mean making sure this thing is tight tight because we don't really want any kind of movement on this thing. All right, so before we get started, I'm going to put some protective eye gear on. Yeah, these are racquetball glasses. Ah, do I look like Kurt Rambis? James Worthy? Any of those people? So I'm going to make sure everything is tight, tight. Hopefully that holds it. If not, here's the backup. Hopefully this holds it. It's hard to see with these glasses on. They're fogging up. Ooh. All right. 82 pounds. Double check everything is tight. I'm holding it up. Hopefully it stays and holds. Let's see. Ooh, it held. I'm gonna make sure that's tight now. Let's see if there's any slippage. 
No, no slippage. Anybody out there getting the drips too? I don't know what it is. Like kind of a runny nose thing going on here. I see everybody do it, having. They don't even notice it. All right, here we go. Ooh, the racket didn't even creak. So I'm going to actually make sure I do almost 50-50 on this one. Meaning I'm going to do half there and half here. Woo! Whoa. I felt it a little soft there. The weird thing is, I guess because I have it so snug in there, I don't really hear the racket creaking. And this is the one Dan made for me too. Oh, I'm crying because my racket's getting tortured at 82 pounds. <laughs> So the other thing is, as soon as you do this, as soon as you start this process, if you decide to do it, is do it as fast as you can. Because you want to get to the crosses as fast as you can. So that you can even out the pressure. So I'm going to just zoom my way through the rest of this, and then uh, we'll get back to you on the cross, okay? All right, guys, are you looking for a coach, a pro? I know it's been super difficult looking for somebody out there to teach you. And I'm in the game myself, and it's super difficult to find somebody to you know, teach you, somebody to hit with. Um, we know that the number one reason why people give up the game is because they can't find anybody to play with. And now you can't find anybody to teach you. Well, this is where play your court is going to give you a hand. All right, check out play your court. They have professionals. They have hitting partners. They even help you set up a game. The resources are there for you to keep you in the game of tennis. Go to playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin and get your own personal discount from me. Link is below. Stay in the game. Okay, finishing up the crosses. Still at 82. See, I'm motoring through this. You can, if you look at the racket, it really hasn't, the interesting is it didn't move much. I didn't hear any creaking. Um, that, that prince that I did was creaking. Like literally, like, gah, 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 gah. you know, like when a, when a branch is about to fall off <laughs> of a tree, <laughs> that's what it sounded like. This racket, nothing. Did not hear anything. Uh, I mean, I rushed through this, got to the cross here, fast as I could, literally. And at the final stretch here. And it's obviously my string, confidential, 16L. 
not my normal 55 and it's probably not going to be my normal 82. <laughs> you know what would be a fun video guys i'll string one at max tension which is 82 on this falcon and what if i strung one at minimum tension let's see what that is on the machine later is it 10 is it 20. That would be an interesting video. I wonder whose arm I can break to, to get that racket done. Hmm. Who, sh who should I test it out with? Goo? Chris? Coach Rob's going to... I wonder if Coach Rob will leave it. Yeah, he'll know. He'll be like, man, Harry, this is going to be real. This is really tight. <laughs> Maybe I should count how many times they say tight in that video. <laughs> All right, last one at 82. Tie it off. I guess you don't need to worry about upping it 10% on the on this because you can't go up 10% on this. I can't crank it up to 88, 90. It's already at max tension. It won't go up anymore. All right. So let's see what happens if I take it off. Is it going to survive without the uh, braces helping? Okay, moment of truth. Clamps off. Bring it in. Listen. No creaking. Oh, I heard a creak right there. Brace. Ooh, this brace came off. This brace is tight. Ooh. Ooh. My man Dan's probably cringing like, oh. <laughs> He's like, no, don't worry. That clear coat is two tons, is what he would say. Wow. Let's listen. Woo! 82 pounds. Let me, let me check the um, tension gauge real quick. Okay, I guess I could take this off now. I wonder if it will even register 82 pounds. May not go up that high. All right, so let's put it on. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Arm troubles ahead. Arm troubles ahead. Oh, it's thinking. Oh, 54. And that's not pounds, guys. There is a conversion table here. Do we go up that high? We go to 54. Oh, we don't. 53 is the highest. It doesn't go to 54. Look, 53, and then it goes back around. So, <laughs> 53 is considered on a mid plus 79 pounds. <laughs> look at the conversion. 53. Let's look at the mid plus 79 pounds. So 50, this is 80 something pounds, 82 pounds, accurate. All right, let's see whose arm we gonna break. Maybe mine. All right, guys, we'll see you on the court in the next video. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.